This is Die Sporting Network. What, what, what. MPSSA Championship Saturday. And we begin with the 1A final. The Lake Clifton Lakers in a familiar place for them. They won the 2A championship a year ago against the Southern Rams from Gert County. In an unfamiliar spot for them, their first ever trip to the finals here in 1A. And Lake Clifton gets it to start off. The Mars Die here with you on the Die Shilling Network. So great to be with you once again. We are up top. 
as Michael Gray fouled out of the semifinal matchup against Frederick Douglass. As the Lakers is able to hang on to beat PG's County's version. Douglas shot clock down. That shot goes in. Two nothing affair for the Lakers. Back down to 1A. And a year ago, they was in 2A and beat Oakdale right here in this building to win a 2A championship. It'll be a repeat of sorts, but just in a different class. Wiles has it. Did magnificently yesterday against Seafield. As you're saying, we're tied at two with that layup goes. Wiles has it again. Up against Gray. Gray steals it away. Back comes the Lakers the other way. Inside the layup. It spins in. 5-2 lead. 5-2 lead. Here for the Lakers so far. He's test. Here for the Rams in their white and red jerseys. Matching the carpet here at University of Maryland. Such treatment. Wilds fakes it. He shoots a float and he hits it. The young man got style, I tell you. The senior has style. That one goes in. It's a 5 4 game. Lost it. Balls back over. Here comes the Rams to take the lead for the first time in the game. Tyler Ross here. Ducks it in. Let's bring it back. Wilds. Dips it back. Swings it over. McLaughlin. Wiles is looking long. But Marklin shoots the three. He hits. 9 5 lead early for Southern as we're halfway in the first quarter. Gray almost lost it there. Crossover, jumper goes. Play for three. Hits it. That was the three. Barber again could not hit that one. So down to seconds here in the first quarter. Shot clock game clock is the nine second difference between the two. Pavard drives off the glass and <laughs> Sevens and stuck on nine for a while. Let's see if they can get some points for the quarter ends. Crossover. Kicks it. That's a three. Hits it up in the quarter. NF1, Lakers up 16 to 12 over Southern. Here in the 1A final championship. Here at University of Maryland. We're back. Stay tuned. Second court. Open and hits. That way to start the second quarter. And a 6 1 lead for the Lakers. Drive by Wiles, kicks it back. Jumper goes in. That's going to Time out by the Lakers. Drive, pull up jumper off the glass. It did not go off this was rebound. All right, fakes. He pulls for three. Hits it. And the rebound snatched finally by Hughes. Hodges, excuse me. With Lake Lifter. 21 15. Lifter's up by six. And this Harris swings it back to Gray. Gray trying to be a two time champion. Gray from the top of the key, it's a three. So far in the game. Back 
back inside. Off the glass and out. Nice. Point Ashby with the two. 24-17 now. Here for the Lakers. 1A final and the 3A. And 2A and 4A finals to follow. That's a three. Hits it again. Michael Gray and a two dog combination for Lake Clifton heating up. There's a 10 point move. And controlled the pace so far for the Lakers. And being up 10. Haran. Pull back. Harris from downtown. Tip the miss for him. Offensive rebound. Grabbed up. Gray again. Hits again. Michael Gray with 14 now. Timeout by Southern of Garrett County. Uh -oh, you see the margin. They're down. 30 to 17. Back here in uh, Southern. He's been overwhelmed right now by the guard play of Lake Clifton. The team of Michael Gray and Aaron Hamrod combining for 25 of the 30 points you see. And Harris, the other guard, has the other five. Spins. Wilts. Thought he was going to shoot. He reverses. Spins it in. Nice. Wows by the senior. That's a three. It hits. Tyler. Well, Heber drops it in and gives Southern a closer margin to get through. Eight point lead now for the Lakers. Down. Grabbed up by Tuggle. Back to Harris. He's open. Lays it in for two. Seconds left. Shot clock, lane clock. Two second difference. Lakers have controlled the pace in the first half. They've equaled their biggest lead at 10. 32-22. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Pull up. No good. The tip in goes. That will get the Lakers their biggest lead. Ooh, real close. At halftime, the Lakers trying to repeat as MPSSA champions with this time in 1A. 34-22 at halftime against Southern of Garrett County. Second half of this MPSSA 86 action of the 1A championship game. We'll be back. And they had possibly three. Two 4A titles. Two... 2A titles and a 3A. And so Lakers uh, letting that shot clock run down. It's run down a bit. It's down to three. It's down to two. Hits it! Michael Gray on five. 17 points for the junior guard. Getting their grass. 15 point lead. Trying to win their first 1A championship. for three. The combination is on fire, folks. 40 to 22, a 18 point lead. Right now, it's starting to fade into the sunset. Harad again. Hits again. What an unbelievable shooting exposition we're seeing from the two guards of Lake Lifted. And a timeout. And save Bailey. This is four on four right now. It's one player from each team bold. Wells couldn't get the floater to go. Offensive rebound. That does go. Troy Asby. But again, Southern down by 21. The Lakers have two timeouts remaining to go into the fourth quarter. And the way they've been shooting and scoring, they might not need it. Gray fakes, pull up, Jabba hits! And Haran again! Jumper hits 
Gets it. It's a 19-point lead for the Lakers trying to capture their first 1A title. They're six overall. Way from downtown. Hits it! Okay. Oh, fire in the third heaven. And Hari, that tipped the miss. Hari grabs the rebound. That's going to be his eighth. Gray, shifts it back to Harris. Harris back to Arar for three. Hits it again. Unbelievable shooting. We're witnessing from the Lakers here in the third quarter. Here, Comcast. That's a jumper. That one goes. Wow. The end of the third. The Lakers putting down 24 points and up 58 to 34. Fourth quarter about to get going. The Lakers up by 24. 58 34. Trying to win their first 1A. MPSSA title is six overall. And Heron. Harid, five points away from getting in that 34-point category. Southern right now trying to climb their way back in this one. The time is their enemy. And a great season for them is 7:28 away from coming to a close with the runner-up spot here in the, in the 1A. That drives, that layup goes. And the offensive, defensive rebound goes to well. He brings it up now. Southern, again, time not on their side. They're getting a couple stops, pull up, hits it. Here he has a double-double. 29 and 10. Pull up. Got it! My 31 for the senior. That's a three. That hits. McLaughlin drops the number and he's at the double figure mark now at 10. Sixty to forty-one. Three. Drives. Pull up. Off the glass. No good. Offensive rebound. Back in and scores again. One point away from getting in a historic territory for the senior. Harris brings it up. The Lakers now. It's not win. It's not if, excuse me, but it's win now. The Lakers be winning. And Harad hits the record book. With 35! Oh, now Reed with a, an incredible display of scoring here in this one. 35 of the 64 points. And Michael Gray has 22. Well, that's a three. That hits. Three. Takes it. Inside. Got it in. That will do it. The Lakers win their sixth MPSSA championship. Their first in 1A. Their first school ever to win all four classes. And for a Laker team throughout the season that at times Tough, tough, a tough year, a lot of times, playing top competition in the city, but was able to get it done, get into the 1A playoffs, and pretty much go through it. Their toughest team was their last game against Prussia, Douglas and Prince George's County came down to a two-point win. Oh, it's 
ceremony. Here to come in post game reaction as well. Joyce Fillmore. 
Mr. Frank Brown. Lakers win their sixth MPSSA title, their first in Class 1A. And the Coast Tree, the Lakers, we've seen some of their games this year. And what another finish. A repeat for the Lakers. 2A last year, 1A this year. So we say so long to you here on the Dinosaur Network for now, the 3A championship between Reservoir, the Gators out in Howard County. And they was in a lot of tests this year, but they was able to persevere their way into this final against the two-time champion Polly Engineers. Stay tuned here on the Dinosaur Network for highlights of that one coming up. So long for now, Lake Clifton, your 1A champions in the MPSSA for 2019. stack up for you in terms of kind of the big offensive games you've had in your career? It's more than just about that. It's about, about I, I know that the younger people on my team got a chance to get a run. I had my chance last year, and I had another chance this year. And about, this is about, like, I had to score for us to win. It wasn't about me just trying to fill something. It was like a goal. It was about for us to win. And I know that everybody on my team got a chance to feel the same way I felt last year. Coach, were you surprised that you didn't see any pressure defensively for the most part? Nah, the way we attacked the basket yesterday, I, I kind of believe we'll probably come up with it, <coughs> just to try to slow us up. So I wasn't, I wasn't surprised that there wasn't any pressure or anything like that. 
that would have helped us. If they would have done that. No, no disrespect to the coach at all, but that would have helped us. So I, I, I knew they would come out and play a style of man and man and the fact that they're accustomed to playing. And uh, it, it helped us. It slowed us up for a period of time. And then we just, like, yeah, we wanted that strong run. We needed that. If we don't make that strong run, we got a different game, different outlook. I mean, you know, just a closer game. We don't make that run like that. Coach I fails to be the first team, I believe, to win in every class in MPSSAA. Yes, it's, uh, it is great for a school uh, community, you know, basketball that they couldn't reach. It does everything for that area. Um, and I'm just proud to bring that kind of uh, positive spirit to the school and to the area and bring that kind of history to the school and to the area. So it, it feels great. It, it really does. It feels great. <laughs> Mind you, when your shot is that, when you're that wet, when you're shot, how does that feel? How empowering is that? Okay. You're definitely in that semi both of you. I think you have every point in the second half here. You just try and run it out. Just play defense hard, man. Just keep that foot on that hat. He mean that. Coach, can you explain yesterday you didn't have a three point goal? And today you're making from every place on the court. That was the quirks of the game. It works out that way sometimes. They, they, uh, which I expect they, once again, they watched us play yesterday and they watched us get to the basket. So they packed it in, which gave us an uh, opportunity to make some outside shots, um, which is a great game plan. And it's like give or take. We either want to make the shots or we want to miss the shots. And lucky enough, we made the shots and they helped us uh, make that play. So I understood what he was doing, packing in. They had to slow us up. He gets to the basket, he gets to the basket. My guards are getting to the basket. So it was a great concept. We just made shots during that concept. And it helped us. David, talk about that, the shots you guys were making. You made some shots in and, in and out. I mean, Oman and Michael just had some phone. Group one. Um, just kind of just talk about just what you guys did that. Well, Coach, we thought I played. We just uh, executed them really well. Uh, in the, I think it was the second quarter. We started to run away with it at the week. And we uh, started to run a play that was uh, telling us to execute, and it was getting MC overshot, to get uh, our big man overshot sometimes. As a senior, what does this mean getting another championship? It was great. When I came in, they told me that they was going, hey, we was going to work hard. He said, Blake Clifton is a different type of work, but when I got there and I seen what he meant, and that's how we. Come on, just talk about, you know, you won it last year, you won to win it for your teammates. But to do it with your dad, um, just talk about how special that is. It's special because I've seen him win all the championships besides the one he won it. So I've seen him win every championship. So last year is the first one we got to do together. This year is just another one. But then it's more about that. We helped him. We helped, we helped him finish a goal because he already had two and the three and the four and now he has the one and so now he's pleaded it up. So it's more than that and we all helped him finish up as he helped us get the movie. And Coach Trevi just talk about what does it mean not only to win another championship with your son, a championship in every classification that's never been done. Well, it's a blessing <coughs> to with my son. Uh, he's been he learned how to ride his bike in that gym. He learned how to walk in that gym, he learned how to talk in that gym, he learned how to do his homework in that gym. That, that gym is not a gym, it's a home. And to see him have this kind of uh, success once he had a chance to get in that gym as well, it's amazing. I, I'm, I'm just proud of him as a young man, how he conducts himself academically on and off the court. And uh, I'm just, I'm, I'm a proud father. I'm a proud father, and I work very hard to be a proud father. And he know I'm not finished being, working hard being a proud father. And I, and I, I've enjoyed these coaches together. I've enjoyed watching Michael go up. I mean, I've been around Mike since ninth grade. His maturity level is increasing every year, and I'm so proud of his growth as a young man. And I expect him to be the leader of this team next year as a mom has shown him how to do that. And so, you know, David comes in, he, he's a great student. I've never worked about him in school. He, he walks a fine line, you know. I've had some, I have a good kid from here. And it's great to have this moment with them, share this moment. And they've worked very hard for them. They've worked very hard.
talk just a little bit more about how what a special game he had to close out his career. I mean, this is something you guys will never forget. I mean, this was it's a, it's a special. Book. It, it will be a book. It's a book. If you wrote a book, you would write the story that just came out today and the year that we've had uh, this year, last year. It, it, it's a perfect script. But this young man, Armand, uh, he works extremely hard. Um, he's very mature. Like a lot, me being his father's coach. I didn't. I, I don't work him out. I didn't work him out a lot because I didn't want to overdo it being his coach. And, but he was mature. <coughs> he's going to a gym, and you think somebody's walking through stuff. Like his work ethic is is amazing. And then occasionally I would spend time with him. But I didn't want to overburden myself to him as his coach because I tell you all, at the end of the day, when this is all done, I just want to remember me as his father. It just happened to be his coach. But I want to remember his dad first. But this is a special time for a father. All right, congratulations. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks so much. Thank you. This is Die Sporting Network.